So hello, I'm Chris, and this is my 70 Chevelle front bumper video. Now I have a video on here showing you uh, the disassembly. The whole point of that video was just to show you how a 100% original bumper came off. I mean, in this video, we're going to go through everything that I had to go through to get the new bumper ready, and then we're going to put it on the car at the end. Now, taking a bumper off, I've never taken one off of a painted car or ready car, so I don't know what to tell you about taking one off a nice car. But to take one off the way I've always done it. Okay, so there's these two bolts. There's one back there. They're three quarter inch. All my life, every single Chevelle I've ever taken apart. I put a backer on this side, reach under here. I loosen these up as loose as I can get them before they fall off. Kind of pull them forward. Put some tape on the original piece if you have to. I've never done that before and I didn't scratch this one and then what I do is I get them both like this I hold the bumper up or get somebody to hold it then I undo both of these on the inside just drop them do the other side and the bumper is not that heavy and then I'll just after it's been pulled forward it'll clear that and I've always just dropped them like that And then just back here, undo the rest, drop it, don't worry about it. This bolt can fall in the frame, so you got to be careful. And that's how I just dropped them. I've always taken bumpers off like that. I've never had any problems, never scratched the car, never hurt myself, anything. Okay, so here are all the parts. We're going to be going through everything that I had to go through. Just basically everything to get this front bumper ready. So I make videos to help people out. So we're going to go through each part. We're going to talk about it, where I got it, what I had to do to it. Okay, now this car is a 70 Chevelle. Okay, so these are the 70 Chevelle brackets. Speaking of brackets, I'm going to be making some molasses rust removal videos to try to get rust off these 50 year old parts because I sandblast those and it takes a lot of time and a lot of material, media, electricity everything so uh, you'll see that video when i get it loaded because that's one thing that's been really bothering me is these molasses videos um they're just not clear enough you don't know what the hell is going on but i figured it out I'm trying to buy the molasses right now so like i said just stay tuned we'll get a video up i don't know i was born in 84 but what i'm guessing that these are is when they had the bumper jacks that you could adjust this where it wouldn't like tweak your bumper so i guess these are kind of important Get what I'm saying? So when you're jacking the car up, it, this will be adjusted to your core support and wouldn't tweak that bumper. So if you ever had a car out there that seems like the bumper's jerk, jerking or loose, I know I have. Didn't have these on there, weren't adjusted. These are the rubbers. I don't even know if you could buy these. Yeah, in the video, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show adjusting these, but you get what that is. So we're going to run these all the way down to start. These are bumper bolts. I have buckets and buckets and buckets of these parking lights I'm putting on my car psych just wanted to show you what to look for on these see how this has been welded this one's been welded and it has a screw broke off in it I would throw this in the trash but I'm keeping it for parts wiring stuff like that I mean you could make that work but always make sure that's there okay so here are the ones for my car um, they've been sandblasted so as you can see all these are original good very important you check that okay so the problems that i have with these i couldn't get that little thing to go up and down if that thing doesn't go up and down it's not going to make contact with your bulb and you're going to have flickering issues you have to work it i had to saturate it with wd-40 i had to sit here and mess with these for a while before i could get it to come back up this sounds stupid but i'm being serious see how it's nice and tight it, it, it would go in there but it was loose so you have to make sure it's springy And also, I messed it off, hit it with a sandblaster, and cleaned all that completely perfect in there. Okay, so we'll get into the screws and lenses when we put them on the bumper. So here's the license plate bracket, but that's all that is. Gotta have it. New gasket set. 20 bucks. It's better to just get them all. Now we're gonna go through these bastards right here. These look real fancy right now, but they did look like this. Dirt on the inside. They look really crappy like that. Do not use them like that. What you're going to have to do is, is just bust them off. Be careful how you do it. They'll come off. Bleach soap really, really, really freaking good. 
bleach soap this it's gonna super glue them back okay so here's the bumper i got it today in houston for like 200 okay so i hope you can see this we're gonna do the license plate first they look like this you can get them anywhere okay okay license plate screws okay so we're gonna mount this lower license plate bracket the bolts that were on it were garbage so this is just quarter inch coarse thread that's just the shortest ones i had okay yeah that looks pretty ugly on there hopefully the license plate covers it completely up okay see it from the inside okay we're gonna put these on next these are the screws they have like some kind of little lock thing on them just make sure the holes look like they're gonna line up you're gonna have to buy this you never want to reuse especially these so this kit was like $25 must have this that's what these are gonna look like these two first just snug them just like that not too tight i don't know which way they go but i'm gonna put mine in like this now once they're all in there you can tighten them now or tighten them on the car you can reach them So this kit does both bumpers. I'm gonna be doing the rear bumper too. Okay, so for the parking lights, they have amber or clear lenses. I'm gonna run clear on mine. I personally think the amber look better. These are the old gaskets. They just need to be replaced. Okay, so these were like $40. Okay, so these are gonna use 1157, your choice, clear or amber. These are supposed to be amber, so I'm pretty damn sure you're gonna use amber bulb. Okay, so these are the screws for the parking lights. Okay, so now we're gonna go put this on the car tape this up do whatever you gotta do i'm gonna put gloves on figure something out so just get your tools ready get some gloves on you may need somebody to help you or a prop to hold the bumper up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the two back ones first and have it hanging okay so we got the two long ones just stuck through there now you need to pull it out as far as you can See? Now you can get something to hold it up right here. Okay. Where now we can adjust it by shimming that, whatever we got to do. I honestly don't like people helping me because usually the people helping you don't really give a shit about your car. Let's get this thing tightened now. You're gonna have to feed it in there like that. See these go from the inside out. Bumper needs to come this way a little bit. You can also see that the point is not exactly in the middle. But once you get it hung on there like that, those kind of adjustments are not that hard to do. The main thing is just getting the damn thing on there without scratching everything up. Um, there's not one nick scratch anywhere you're checking gaps under the fender extensions making sure they're even right here right here this needs to come over a little bit and then you're checking that line right there making it parallel with that and your bumpers adjusted everything else will just work itself out so got the bumper on there everything looks good one step closer to getting this car on the road if you like the video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching